first egg has just exploded in the deep fryer. Be careful. I'm pinning all my hopes on winning the pin on my second egg. Please just stay together. It's holding. I think it's going to be okay. So I'm going to leave it until the batter's nice and golden. <laughs> Rapidly running out of time. I take the first eggplant sandwich out of the deep fryer. Just need to leave my eggplant sandwiches on that napkin just to drain. If it's just dripping in oil, I can kiss that immunity pin goodbye. Sarah's eggplant sandwich is looking really crispy on the outside. I just hope it's crispy on the inside and not soggy and oily. Come on, time to hurry. Three minutes to go. Come on, Sarah. Take, take man there. So I've got three minutes left and my squid's only just going in. It's really not as much time as I would like. Keep it going. Just make sure you get everything on the plate. I have no idea how the batter I've made is going to work because I've made it by feel. Jessica's big problem here is that she might not have it in the fryer long enough. So it'll just soak up all the oil and not be crispy. My second egg's been frying for a couple of minutes now. The batter's not quite turned the right colour, but if I leave it in for much longer, I'm going to be in danger of overcooking my egg. But I think it's more important to have the batter right in a batter challenge, so I'm just going to have to take that risk. If you want to be the leader of the crunch bunch, you've got to get it on the plate. One minute to go. Come on. Keep going, keep going. A bit thicker. Whisk a bit more. Desperately running out of time, and I just need to get this mayonnaise on the plate. Whisk, whisk, whisk. I have no more time to leave the squid in the deep fryer, so it just has to come out, because um, I need to get everything I've got on the plate. Come on, Jessica. Get it on the plate. 30 seconds to go! Whisk, 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 whisk. My heart's gonna fall off. Come on, Jessie. Come on, Jessie. I'm just taking my egg out of the deep fryer. The batter looks terrific. Now I've got to get straight on with plating it all up with a steak tartare. <laughs> 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six. about to see my pants there. <laughs> the squid actually looks really good. I'm quite surprised by how nice it looks. I'm really hoping that I'll be the pin on my chest. I'm pretty happy with the dish. It's the batter I'm worried about, and I know today's all about batter, so. Just a little bit worried that my egg's gonna be overcooked. The fact that it was in the oil for so long to get the batter nice and crispy, so I'm feeling not so confident. Let's taste Sarah's first. I've done a deep fried eggplant sandwich with a prawn and scallop mousse inside. Interesting to see how crispy and crunchy that batter is and if that eggplant has made the batter soggy, which is generally what happens. There's a lot of moisture in eggplant. Oh, yeah. I'll put soggy there, but... Oh, my lord. <laughs> oh, no. Flavours are brilliant. The problem is it's a batter challenge and the batter's flannelly and oily. Let's let you down. Unfortunately, yeah, the batter just doesn't work with it. Oh. Works, Sarah. Right. Pretty clear that my batter ain't great. I feel like I've just missed out. Jessica, you're next. Go, well, Jessica. Hey. Well, wow. Good. Now that's a tumble of that's... what looks like crispy things. You've got squid in, like, a Mexican spice batter. That is definitely a batter challenge, isn't it? <laughs> hey, there's battery stuff there. Yeah. I love the flavours. I love the spice in the batter. But this is a batter challenge. That batter has soaked up way too much oil. Yeah, my, my only criticism is, is the batter. Everything else about the dish I really like. <laughs> so it's very, very frustrating. <laughs> <laughs>
Jesse, come on down. I've made a tempura egg with beef tartare. Does look good, doesn't it? Great idea. Yeah, I'm happy with the idea. I just, I'm pretty 99% sure that the egg's not going to be oozy. Um, yeah. Yeah. Chopping up. Let's have a look. Oh, awesome. I'm churning up inside. If it's not runny, I could be in big trouble. Shame, 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 shame. It is a batter challenge. I just hope that they can see that the batter is nice and crispy. Hopefully that's enough just to get me over the line. Um, the core idea of almost making like a tartare with an egg that when you card and the yolk dresses, the, the beef is a brilliant one. Um, the combination of hard-boiled egg and, and raw beef isn't, isn't the greatest. Yeah. But this is not a hard-boiled egg challenge, this is a batter challenge. And that batter is thin, it's lightly golden, and it's super crunchy. I have to say that the hero has been um, the hero. I like it. Thank you. Where you got the batter right was the aeration and obviously the quantity of water and flour that you use because it's just super crispy. Now, it leaves us a question, do we give the win to the better dish or do we give the win to the better batter? <laughs> and, and you know what, even and, and it, was, it was really good batter. It was a really good batter. Was really good batter. batter. The challenge was pretty clear. Yeah. Yes. Better, 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 better. Jesse, you hit the brief. Yay! The challenge was give us a great crispy batter and you've done it. So well done, Jesse. Congratulations. That means you've got a shot at the pin. Great work, Jesse. I can't believe it. Feels like I'm one step closer to winning the pin and a chance to go all the way to finals.